Welcome to Car Design Academy, where we help aspiring designers master the skills and technology necessary to succeed as an automotive designer through live, online training and personal mentoring. Today we're going to be drawing cars in perspective, and we're going to start with a luxury sedan. We're going to take what we've learned about drawing ellipses and drawing boxes in space, and we're going to sketch the car in a front three-quarter view. I'm going to start with uh, a little bit of a simpler way of drawing perspective, which is the ground view or the worm's eye view. And that's where you're sitting on the ground level looking at the vehicle straight on. In, and it's in a front three-quarter view, meaning that you're, you, the car is turned a little bit towards you. So you're seeing some of the side of the vehicle and you're seeing some of the front of the vehicle. So I'm going to start with a series of parallel lines. couple of parallel lines and if you remember when we draw most vehicles the, there's a there's the correct wheelbase which is five circles in succession and the first and the last circle are the wheels and the, and the distance between them is the wheelbase when we draw in perspective we're going to be starting to foreshorten those circles into ellipses and so I'm going to sketch a couple of vertical lines here just to indicate the, the four corners of the vehicle. And I'm going to start with my front wheel, which is going to be a fairly open, almost circular ellipse. And then with each successive wheel, I'm going slightly narrower on that ellipse. So now I have my front and my rear wheel. And I'm also going to indicate the wheel on the far side of the vehicle. So I, essentially I have a, a pair of cylinders. So that gives me a sense of the overall length and width of the car. Now I'm going to start to lay out the rocker and the belt line. Basically what I'm doing at this point is mapping out uh, all of the main character lines from the side view of the car onto this front three quarter view. I'm also going to add my greenhouse. So with the luxury sedan, we're going to aim the A pillar at the front wheel center. I'm also going to add a wheel diameter to indicate the overall height of the vehicle. We're going to go just below that for the for the luxury sedan. And the cabin is going to touch down just behind the rear wheel. Now I'm going to set up a couple of reference lines to indicate the, the top of the vehicle. And now I'm going to start to draw the opposite side of the vehicle. So again, aiming the A-pillar at the center of the far side front wheel. I'm also going to add a little bit of crown or, or puff to the, to the roof. Drawing the far side of the, the bonnet or the hood. And I'm also going to start laying out some section lines. So a center line is very important because it helps define the curvature of the front end. You can see how I'm, I'm, I'm sketching the center line pretty far to the, to the left or to the far side of the vehicle. And the reason why is because when we look straight down on a vehicle, we call this the plan view. When we look at the front bumper, it's it's going to have a lot of curvature to it. So if we look at the center line and we're observing the front end from, from a diagonal three-quarter view, and we compare the distance of the, the corner of the car to the center line, right? And then we compare that to the far side of the vehicle, right? That distance is quite a bit, quite a bit longer on the near side versus the far side. So that's why we sketch the, the center line pretty far to the, to the left. And depending on how, how far you push that center line, it's going to indicate either a rounder front end or a longer front overhang um, or a flatter front end. So in this case, we're, we're going to uh, start to lay out some of our graphics. And going to indicate some some lights
and start to lay out some, some details like a grill shape. This would be like a fairly generic luxury sedan front end. Start to lay out some of the character lines of the hood. You can see I keep pushing the center line further to the left. And then indicate a, a corner feature. You can see how I'm, I'm drawing the spokes to indicate a bit of dish and a bit of depth to the wheels. Now I'm drawing the shape of the side windows or the side glass. And I'm laying out my, my door section. Just adding a few additional details to the front end. You can make the front end whatever, whatever character you want. The sedan has a fairly upright, kind of proud look to it. So this is a fairly simple, simple view that makes perspective a lot easier when you're just starting out. Uh, one thing you'll notice as well, the A pillars are converging towards each other. And that's because from the front view, the glass is angling inward. We call that tumble home. So if you look at the car from the front view, the side glass is angling inward. And so when we draw a front three quarter view, we need to express that, that tumble home. Now some vehicles have more tumble home than others. Uh, so like an SUV might have less tumble home, a sports car might have more tumble home, but that's how we express a luxury sedan in a front three quarter view from the worm's eye view. And that's a fairly simple and effective way to draw a front three quarter view of a luxury sedan. If you're looking to take your car design career to the next level, you need a mentor who can show you the way. Go to www.cardesign.academy and book a free discovery call. We can help you map out a strategy to master the skills and technology necessary to succeed as an automotive designer through live, online training, and personal mentoring. Whether you're just starting out on the journey or you're looking to level up, subscribe to our channel and be sure to follow us on Instagram at cardesign.academy.